So when I first meet a family um, upon the palliative care assessment, I go in with my nurse and myself, I'm the social worker, and we really want to be able to allow the family to tell their story. We've got information from the doctors, the medical team about the child's illness and what's been going on, but I really want to hear it from the parents' perspective. What is their story? What has been going on? And, and tell me everything that's been going on within the entire family. Um, the assessment can take approximately two hours. We we want to look at how is this affecting the family, how is it affecting the patient, um, especially if it's a patient um, who's in school, they're missing school, they're missing their friends, how is this affecting everyone socially, emotionally, and spiritually. Those are the three areas that we're really looking to be able to assess. We want to be able to find out are they connected with community resources, what community resources are they connected with, are they connected with a church or synagogue that's helping them, um, and how's, how's their family, extended family and friends dealing with this illness. Um, the purpose of the first visit is to really be able to um, find out exactly where the family needs assistance and then try to fill in those gaps. Um, what we've noticed is that, the, again, the doctors and teams are doing a wonderful job um, dealing with the medical side of things, but the psychosocial side really gets pushed aside. And what we want to find out is how this illness is affecting them psychosocially. So what I found during these um, during these times with the families is that just the presence of the social worker or the, the palliative care team in the home can provide a presence that they're not used to. Um, they're, they're used to being able to talk about all the medical side of things and the medications and how how um, that dealing with the the emotional side is being kind of put pushed aside. In other words, um, a family member may realize that they haven't talked about how it feels the first time um, that they got the diagnosis. Um, recently I spent some time with some young mothers who are dealing with, um, both have children um, with um, leukemia diagnosis under the age of three. And both mothers uh, really feel as though they haven't had the opportunity to talk about that moment that they got the diagnosis. To them it's like almost like a PTSD. 